Alright, in this video what I'm going to be doing is laying out the UVs for a boss that I've been making in uh, Blender. The reason I'm not in Unity right now is because, uh, well, it's glitching out and it cra crashed a driver or something. I don't know, the screen's just gray on that window, so I get to make a, fo my, a fool of myself in Blender. So I've already been laying them out for a while now. Each of the red lines is a seam for the UVs. But uh, currently, it's not really unwrapping it as well as I'd like it to, and I can show that if I do a quick unwrap. And I want that to be conformal. Those, optimally, should all be this dark blue color. But they're uh, teal and orange all over the place. And I'd like to fix that, so I'm going to go back to the default interface and continue laying out some of these seams. So, one of the problem areas was right here with these little protrusions that I have. So I'm going to actually lay a seam in between each of those. Now, what's the hotkey for that? Or is it, like, Control e Yeah, Control e mark seam. I don't have to keep going to the toolbox. Um, then I need to grab these angled parts. Mark seam. Oh yeah, I clicked on it again. I need to learn to use the hotkeys more. Alright. Oops. Do 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 do. Control E, work seam. There we go. And I'm actually going to remove this seam right here. I think that's also under the Control E, clear seam. This one, Control E, clear seam. And I'm going to mark a seam along those lines. We have already have it. So correctly there, yeah. Alright, control E, mark seam. And I want it to split along these uh, angled parts here. So I'm going to mark a seam with those as well. Um, I guess I'll split it there. And, yeah, it seems like it might fold out well. There and there. This is really bugging me. Hold on for a second. I'm going to turn auto depth on. Zoom to mouse position and auto depth. There we go. Did I just, ah. Uh. Alright. That one. And I'll do this one. And that one. Seems like something's going to go wrong here, but I can't quite put my finger on it. So... Mark seam. Oh yeah, I did it again. I'm really trying to get into the habit of using hotkeys, because the amount of time that I spend just moving my mouse around the screen is ridiculous. So, I'm going to switch back over to the UV editing layout, select all, unwrap, uh, conformal. I wish there was a way to set conformal as default. Actually, there probably is, but I don't know it. So, let's see here. Here's the toolbar that I usually have. Um, well, I used to have some sort of toolbar here that let me... Oh, there we go. I just failed. Alright, so... Let me find out which part of that thing is. If not faces. Select. Looking for it. Alright, well I 
I'd like to split this line as well. So I'm going to do edge select and uh, control E, mark seam. Unwrap again. Um, conformal. It's a bit better, but the area is really stretched there. Angle is fine though. The area is what I'm worried about. Um, well, I guess the only way to really fix that would be to, well, to take care of that area under there. I don't know. Ah. Control E. Mark scene. To unwrap. I recall there being a way of actually setting it. So oh, I've unwrapped. There we go. All right now, let me try and find where the thing ended up being. Face select. Looking for it. Looking for it. There. So now it's a light heel, which is better. Hmm. Well, there's that area that I was concerned about earlier. Let's see if I can fix that. Well, I suppose one way I could fix it is to actually break the seam right there. Control E, clear seam, and make the seam up there. Control E, mark seam. Control E, clear seam, Control E, mark seam. Alright, so cleared that up. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I could actually straighten out the geometry here a little bit. I see no reason for it to be as lopsided as that. So I believe edge, no, I don't think edge slide will take care of that. G X S X S X S X S X S X And I want these to be in oop I'm used to Maya now. Uh, G, Y, S, Y. Alright, that's relatively straight. Let me just double check that it's unwrapping correctly. Well, actually, angle bit. Yeah, need to conform. Alright, well maybe I can fix some of the other problem areas and it will get a bit better. So I'm looking at a lot of green here and this orange right here. Face select. I need to start using the hotkey for face select as well. I believe that's control tab if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so right here is where it's messing up. Alright, so I need to add it. control tab E. Alright. And that one, and that one. Control E, mark seam. Alright, well, they made one of them worse and one of them better. So let's hop over to the other side. Uh, the other side actually looks alright. So. Well, let me make sure there's no doubles on the whole thing. Oops. Used to hit the unwrap button now. It's w. Remove doubles. Alright, so that didn't do anything. 
I'm actually going to split these parts off. Maybe that'll help. Control E, mark same. And since I'm doing that, I don't want any of these to be seams. Uh, seam on that. That and that. That, that, and that. Control E, mark seam. Alright, well that makes that look a bit awkward. But it looks like it fixed this area up nicely. Sorta, of. now we have the crossing things right here. Um, hmm. So that's those things on the end. I'm actually just going to split off the ends. I know there's probably somebody out there yelling at me right now because I'm doing it completely wrong, but I've had, uh, well, very little teaching in this matter, so most of it has been done by uh, either watching online tutorials or just experimentation. Um, most of it. Uh, mark seam. And. Well. Yeah, clear seam, I guess. Want one of those to be a seam, though. Let's see what that did. Well, let's put that off nicely. Um, can't be right. Oh, all right, right here. And if you'll pardon me for a second, all right, and I'm back. Hopefully, that actually resumed recording instead of starting a new recording. Um, let's see here. I ah, yes, I was right here trying to figure out how to do that. Let me get rid of that toolbox, it's getting annoying. Um, so I'm going to split this off just like I did on the uh, other part. Mark scene. Control E, clear scene. Alright, how's it doing now? Alright, looking pretty good. There's... What? Oh, some weird thing up there. Oh, these. I guess I'll split those off too. Um, let's see here. Mark seam. I'm probably going a little bit crazy with splitting off these parts, but... Oh well. Control E, clear seam. Clear seam. Mark seam. Hey, that actually took care of it. Look at that. Yes. Alrighty then. So any other problem areas? Well, there's this part here that has that dark green. And I'm guessing that's on the wing. Um, yes, it is. I, I'm just going control tab E. I split around the top there and each of these parts. E, mark seam. The 
didn't do too much. Did move the original green part somewhere else. Don't know where. Um, the strip that's going down the middle. Kind of want to get rid of that. And if this was an organic thing that I was modeling rather than some large spacecraft, then I'd, I'd be more content with uh, having less seams and just having a little distortion. But since it, everything is supposed to be straight, it's like an or, uh, it's a mechanical thing. Then I don't know stretching and differences in angles should be taken care of. So. Mark seam. I think, again, I haven't had much formal teaching in this matter. Uh, Mark seam. Control E. Mark seam. Looks like I should probably also mark these. What? That looks weird. Yeah, I'm going to fix that in a second. Control E, Maxine. What is that? Aha. So that's being weirdly distorted for some reason. Let's see. I don't know why I still have those connected. Control E, Mark Seam. Whoa. Uh, control Tab F. Where is that? Aha. Alright, so this edge thing right here is kind of messing stuff up. Tab E. Um, uh, control E, Mark Seam. a mark seam here as well. There and there. Ooh, that took care of a lot of stuff. Alright, so I'm only seeing a little bit of orange now. If I get everything to this light teal color, then I'll be kind of happy. Um, control tab. F. Let's see where that is. Aha. Ah, uh, yes. The cannons on the sides. This I was really confused as to how to unwrap, so... Well, I guess I'll just split off more stuff. <laughs> Edge select. I'll split around that wing, and... Which I know this will probably be flying in space. There's no reason for it to be aerodynamic in any way. It just looks cool. Uh, control E. Mark scene. sunken in. That's one of the things I've always had trouble unwrapping is things that are inset like that. Because it's almost like I need to actually separate the entire thing as a separate piece. Which I guess I kind of do. Um, and 
Control E, Mark Seam. Alright, well, that's no longer uh, orange. Do have this yellow part right here. A control Tab, Face, right click Z. Aha. Whoa. I didn't even realize what my geometry was doing. That place. That's weird looking. Um. I wonder if I can get away with just splitting it along this line right here. Uh, control E. Wait, no, I need to do that as well. Control E. Mark seam. Oh, and it made something orange, so I succeeded in making it actually worse for myself. Face. Alright, it's the same thing. So why don't I just control tab edge mark a seam there as well. Hey, I don't see any more orange. Amazing. Bit of yellow though. Take care of that before I end the video. It's on the top behind what I guess would be the command bridge of the ship. Um, control tab edge. something up. FFC. Why is that? Do I not have a Ah. Alright. Control tab E. I'll just add in a random seam right there, I guess. Mark scene. There we go. Nice and blue now. Face. Let's see. Alt tab E. Hmm. I guess I'll split it right there. Control E. Mark scene. Now that's not happy. Why is that not happy? Because I didn't split it right there. Control tab E. Control E. Mark seam. Bye. Yeah. Alright, so now we're down to green as our worst color. So, well, I'm seeing one problem already, and that's right in this corner right here. Grab that, grab that. Uh, control E, mark seam. Looking better. Thinking I might as well just make this raised area here one part. So I'm going to clear seam. No, I'm not going to clear those seams. I lied. I'm going to clear those seams. E. Clear seam. Um, and I think that might actually be enough. 
Roxine. Of course not. That would be too easy. Um, alright, so this looks like the worst area out of them. Control tab F. Right click Z. Right there. Control tab E. Have a seam there. Look seam. And that did absolutely nothing to help me. that needs to be marked as a seam as well. There we go. Alright, it's a bit less intense of a shade of green now. That needs to be marked as a seam. Getting better. I want to see if I, yeah, I marked that as a seam already. Hmm. I always found it kind of hard to visualize how this lays out on a surface. It's like back in seventh grade when they're doing those, you know, the nets of objects, and then they show you the net of a cube, and it's, you know, six faces laid out that makes like a T shape. And you're like, oh, I'll never use this, you know, and found it hard at that time, and then you get to something like this, where you have to lay out something like a spaceship on a flat surface. You can look back and laugh on those old days. Control E, Mark Seam. And there's something that's looking weird about this. I can't put my finger on it though. Hmm. Well, control tab F. And sorry if me saying out the hot, saying the hotkeys is annoying some of you. It's well, it's not a habit. It just makes me feel like I'm actually filling up the dead air while I'm modeling. And that made something worse. Amazing. It made that worse. How? Did, um, well, it's weird wrapping around that it's doing there isn't entirely. Alright, so, control Z, mark seam. Nope. Control Z. Control Z. Alright, so those are still marked as the same. Tab E, right click, Control E, mark seam, and the yellow is gone. That area is still messed up. Why? Looks like it should lay out fine. Uh, well, I guess maybe if I relieved some of the stress or whatever around those areas, it would. And yeah, that did help quite a bit. Hmm. Maybe if I just divided this off completely, it would look a lot better. Sorta. Right, I'm just gonna look and see if there's any like tiny areas that are causing me a lot of trouble. So I've had that before where it says the scale is really off for a lot of things and it's because there was some tiny thing that was red. Well, I think I'm actually going to stop the video there. Thank you for watching.